So I want you guys in the back. None of your fucking business. That's why I got in the back. Alright. Only your old scumbag. Defend our country. And you are gonna sit there on your butt. I'll defend my country from the very end. Then go back to the, where you're from, Mexico or Guatemala, where you're born here. And you won't stand up for the flag. You're going to paint at the Tanley's house. I said there's no Tanley's that live up the road. I didn't say Tanley. I said Chandler. Tanner? Hey, man, look. Th that I'm working up the fucking road, bro. I can't go to work. Okay, so this is a private drive. Right, it's fucking a dead end. It's one way in, one way out. Yeah. So why the fuck would I be going this way if I ain't had no business? It's a good question. Are you bored or something? No. But I live here. What's your name? What's your name? That's cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna text my neighbors up there. Yeah. Matter of you... fact, just follow me. Follow me to the house. That's, That's what fine. you do. Is come on. You're working? That's hey, fine. come but follow me. Follow me. me to the house real quick. I've had people work at my house, and they can always tell me who's the name of the person. I'm not working at your house, house though. So come follow me real quick. Okay. Cool. Follow so me. Now we're live streaming me or something. You gonna be on the internet in awesome. a second. Hi. If you're a Holocaust survivor, why do you support oppression? Why do you support people that are killed? Uh, against oppression and against people. Yeah. Okay, so, no, no, but she said she's a Holocaust survivor, is that correct? She, she, she escaped from the Nazi evil regime, is that correct? Right? So, uh, but how come, like, now the Israelis are killing the Palestinians and, and hurting them and you guys are not doing nothing about it? Why, why are you standing with Israel? When you, just because you want to have a Jewish homeland, you're willing to kill everybody? You want to murder and steal people's homes? Honestly. You understand what I'm saying or no? Like when, you come, when you come out of oppression, you shouldn't be doing oppression. Like you, you tasted that, that evil lifestyle. Like you should be coming out to help the oppressed. You understand what I'm saying? We do help the oppressed all the time. How, how do you all, tell me where you help the oppressed? Yeah, I'm not going to interview, but we help, we help the oppressed. Which oppressed? We don't help Lots of oppressed throughout the world, yeah. The ones with blue eyes and, and with blonde hair, like the Ukrainians maybe? No, all, all people. Col colors irrelevant. No, no, but you're stealing people homes, settlements, and all this kind of stuff, right? I'm not doing settlements. I live in Toronto. Huh? No, no, I know. But you're supporting Israel. You, the UGA was was an Israel. Israel. People support their own people. You're supporting your own people. We're supporting no, no, I, their own people. Yeah? I don't. I'm against the Saudi regime. Right? I'm against the Saudi no, regime, if, even but, though I'm Muslim. But if, you, if I'm originally Muslim, whatever you think your people are against, uh, whatever you think uh, people think are. Are, are, are against the you don't want to discuss it. No, no, no. You know what this reminds me of? The lawyer, the lawyer from Carlitos' way. Remember this guy? Huh? Remember? It's a good movie, man. Have a good night, buddy. Yeah. It's here, it's done. You know the style. 
We're here against George Bush and the war criminal, and we're in front of the UTA. Why have you put that there? Why have you put that there? No, no, it don't matter. Why have you put that there next to my fucking house? I've got you on camera, moving it. I've got photos of it. I've got you coming and dumping it. I'm going to report you to the council for fly tipping. You're a business... Oh, sorry, no, 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 sorry, sorry, me, mate. Yeah. Would you dump that next to your fucking no, house? Asking that. I don't care. This ain't your fucking land. Care. Right, here you go anyway. Gives a good smile for the camera, mate. Phone the council, they want to come and tuck it away for you. Yeah, and done it properly. Well, it's not dumping it outside my fucking house. Next two days, No, no, I don't care next two days. No. no, no. Too late. I'm seeing you. I know, I don't care. Sorry from my side. This is the, called the walk of shame. Take your shit back to your yeah. shop. Sorry from my Before side. they put it through your fucking window. No, 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 don't talk fresh with me, you dickhead. Don't start with me, so slap you and him. Yeah, 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 I've heard it all before. Take your shit back, now, before the fucking hammer you. Are true. Right. Shouldn't you have anticipated them? Okay. See, when you wa launch a war of that size, mm -hmm. you've got to say, what could go wrong? I did. I put in my, if you go to my website, rumsfeld.com, you'll see a thing called the Parade of Horribles, where I listed 15, 20, 30. Back then you listed you them? Bet, Why didn't you bet. Why did you tell me in the press, though? Well, I told the president and I told the National you didn't Security tell the, Council. You didn't tell the people. Uh, we talked about any number of things that could go wrong. Inside, but you, the public had no idea. I didn't have any idea. Well, we didn't know what would go wrong. But we you said, had an idea what I could sat go down wrong. At, you bet. I sat Shouldn't down the said, public have been in on that? I don't think so. Come on. Why? We, they because were. they're the guys that are fighting. We're the people that elect people well, the, the, to make decisions. The, the people fighting were, were aware of these things. They were wearing, for example, chemical suits. Well, but you're telling me that the American public did not have a right to know the parade of horribles that you knew well, the unintended know, consequences. They did know many of those things. But no, they, you should have told them, and so should President Bush have told them. They were told a lot of that. They were told. I didn't know any of that, and I do this for a oh, living. Come on, sure you were. Did I know that that uh, you were going to fi fire all of the uh, all of Saddam's infrastructure? They would all be fired, so they'd be teed off and come back and shoot you. Did I know the armaments were going to be looted, and that you weren't going to have American soldiers stationed there to stop that? Did we, I know that we, the Sunnis were going to be shut out, and we're going to be so angry? they would attack Americans. I didn't know any of that. You want me to respond to that? Yes. Okay. The, the decision on the Army suggests now today in retrospect that, that it was disbanded and, 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 and it was a big mistake. In fact, it disbanded itself. And Bremer and the Coalition Provisional Authority have been criticized for that. The only real fault one can make is they didn't start paying the people fast enough. There, there was a delay in being able to pay the people who had disbanded themselves. And then they reconstituted the military with the debathification. The same thing was done in Nazi Germany. They had a denazification program. Yeah, we had defeated this was them discussed. to the ground, though. This, was no, different... my lord, there was looting all over the Bremen area. We've, we've, we've got uh, selective right. memory here. I'm, run, I'm running out of time. I'm going to bring you back. Well, in a, wait a, in a second. Couple you weeks. made all wait. those charges, then you don't let me answer. No, I want you to answer. Okay. <laughs> but the big thing is that I don't think the American people were aware of the unintended consequences that could have happened. Make your last point. Your uh, little tease before I came out here right. suggested that I was saying one thing publicly and one thing privately. Let me explain that. I was saying what I was saying publicly, and it's what I believed at the time. We all know that any plan is out the window once you make first contact with the enemy. That's the nature of it. Eisenhower, I think, said... The plan is nothing, planning is everything. And because you have to keep adapt, adjusting and adapting to what takes place in the battlefield. If anyone thinks you can sit back, plan the thing all out, and have it go that way, it's, it's, it's impossible. never been that way. But you I know that. Oh, look, I, as I now, said, I now, now, just a minute. Go ahead. So, so, what I said was here's where I think we are every week or so. 
But I was constantly inside doing what a responsible leader should. I was, and so was the president. So was everyone else in the, the NSC. I public, was saying, I was saying, what about this? Public, Shouldn't we be thinking about that? Should, are, are we doing everything we need to do? All right. But the public and, and those know. are responsible questions inside. Okay, and and, and, I, and that's why people should read your book because they I can get inside. So. And I hope they'll go to the website right. Rumsfeld.com. But all I'm going to tell you is the public and I didn't know a lot of this stuff, and I think we should have. The Secretary, always good to see you. Thank very, you. very good debate. Very fun. Good to be Plenty here. Plenty more ahead of of the minority leader, Mr. McCarthy, and after we went back and conveyed our agreement to the GOP proposal, it was vetoed the by the fourth branch of government. I'm not yielding now. Just it was point. vetoed by the cult leader, Donald Trump, who said he wanted no investigation at all. That's your guy. Donald Trump, he said he wanted no investigation. And so you pulled the plug on the investigation you originally advocated because Donald Trump didn't want it. Let's tell some truth. Would you like You're truth? You're talking about truth effects. I'm giving you the truth. Just don't I'm want giving it. you the facts about it. And then when Speaker Pelosi said, well, in that case, the House of Representatives will conduct our own investigation, then again, you guys boycotted it because you wanted to put pro-insurrection members on the committee. And so we ended up with a bipartisan committee of people really interested in getting to the facts. And you know what? This is what you guys can't stand. America listened to it because we had real congressional hearings. Unlike what goes on here with the temper tantrums and the diatribes, and too often our side gets pulled into what you guys are doing, but we had real hearings. And 25, 30 million Americans watching because we told the truth about Donald Trump's assault on democratic institutions and the right to vote in America. And maybe you can't handle the truth, but that's the reality, and nobody has laid a glove on any of the testimony that has come out during those hearings. So we hear this absurd whining about Ray Epps, who has absolutely nothing to do with any of it, and all of these conspiracy theory allegations have been debunked up and down. Up and down, you think you've got something? You bring him in and talk to him or send us a letter or do something. But why don't you deal with the reality of the situation? Do you think that Donald Trump tried to get the Secretary of State of Georgia, a lifelong Republican named Raffensperger, to just find him 11,781 votes? Is that real or is that fake? You interested in facts? Is that real or is that fake? And what he didn't, and for that, he's been made into a sacrificial lamb. And the entire conspiracy, which certainly lies a lot more with Donald Trump and his inner circle than with one guy who showed up at Donald Trump's urging, uh, is now being blamed on him in, in this desperate attempt to distract everybody from what really happened. But here's the thing that gets me about that, um, which is the way that the right wing in America devours its own. I mean, I have watched Donald Trump utterly destroy the lives of people around him, people who went to work for him, people like Michael Cohen, people like Cassidy Hutchinson. Look what they're doing to Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. He, he hung his own vice president out to dry. The mob was after Mike Pence to assassinate him, to hang Mike Pence. They had a gallows and a noose outside. They unleashed him. Uh, they, they unleashed the mob on Mike Pence, and then Donald Trump sends out another tweet after he knows Pence is in danger to say Mike Pence did not have the courage to do what needed to be done. I mean, how far does this have to go before you people wake up? And now they pick this poor guy Epps out of nowhere and say, let's blame the entire thing on this guy. Well, did it's the most absurd thing I've ever seen in my life. Quick question. I'm sorry? Mr. Epps was in front of the January 6th committee, and we were told that a transcript of his interview would be released, but it's never been released. And I wondered, was he sworn None in? None of the transcripts have been released, so you don't need a conspiracy theory about that. We haven't well, released any of them. Were you present when he was interviewed? That would give me... No, some. I was not. I was not. We've done more than a thousand interviews. You guys are trying to make this poor schmuck who showed up to your protest into something a lot bigger than he is. Okay, he's just trying to survive, and he's on your side. You don't have many voters left. You might want to try to hang on to them without demonizing and vilifying your own people. But that's the Donald Trump way. Sell everybody else down the road. Unless you're going to get a pardon. Some people are still hanging around waiting for their pardon. But most people have opened their eyes about what he's done to our country. 
what he's done to his family. Have you guys ever read the book by Mary Trump about the way that Donald Trump has absolutely destroyed their family, wrecked her father's life? They do it to family. They do it to friends. They do it to their own associates and employees. And now you guys are doing it to this poor Ray Epps. Leave that guy alone, whoever he is.